Welcome to the University Library. This tour will take you around the main areas of the library, pointing out things of interest on the way. Please feel free to pause the tour and explore for yourself at any point and feel free to ask library staff any questions you may have. The library is the largest study suite on campus. It is open 24-7 from the start of the autumn term until the end of the summer exam period, closing only for a few days over Christmas. You will need your student card to get in and out through the turnstiles. Please remember to bring it every time you come into the library. If you ever forget your card, you can obtain a temporary pass from the cardless visit kiosk. It will let you into the library, but you won't be able to borrow anything. On your left, the reception desk is the first port of call for any questions you may have. The longer desk to your left is staffed late into the evening during term time. Towards the far end of the atrium, on the left again, there is another door to the library skills office. Here you will find an expert librarian who can help you settle in and find out how everything works. They can help you learn where to find different types of information to help you answer your assignments. They can demonstrate how the discovery service and our more specialised e-resources work and can explain how to build more powerful search strategies to find precisely what you want. The librarians can also help you to understand how referencing works and how to reference any particularly tricky sources. Head down the short corridor to the right of the lift and follow the corridor around the far side of the building. The postgraduate study suite, teaching rooms and four open access computer rooms can be found off this corridor. You will eventually emerge next to the library cafe, which serves drinks and snacks that you can enjoy anywhere in the building. When the cafe is closed, there are vending machines tucked away in the far corner behind the cafe. You will see them just by the start of the near and far children's book collection. As you leave the cafe area, you will find some of the most recent issues of popular journals on the display shelves. You can find many more digital magazines and many digital newspapers online through the Press Reader app, paid for by your library. We also subscribe to a text-only version of most world news sources through Nexus UK. Self-service kiosks lining one side of the atrium allow you to borrow and return books whenever it is convenient for you, 24-7. Anything borrowed is automatically renewed until someone else reserves it. This means that you will need to reserve any books on loan to others that you want to read. You will be sent an email when the book has been brought back and is ready to collect from the click and collect shelves you just passed. As you return to the atrium, you will pass the book nook on your left, just beneath the wooden staircase. Here you can leave books you no longer want and help yourself to books that interest you. We have been sent a photo of one of our book nook books that had journeyed as far as Poland. To your right, you will pass several drop-in meeting pods. The ground floor in particular is well suited to study with friends. The top floor, in contrast, includes an individual silent study zone, the entrances to which are advertised by purple banners. There you can concentrate without distraction, but must set your phone and other devices to silent mode and no talking is allowed. Whenever you are working in the library, if someone is distracting you, you can always discreetly text a brief description of the problem and your location to our security team and someone will attend. Texting security is confidential and no one will make it known that it was you who made the complaint. If you stand in the middle of the atrium and look around at the upper floors, behind you, you will see the bookable group study rooms. These can be booked up to two weeks in advance online or using the room booking kiosk next to the reception desk outside of the turnstiles. Each bookable group study room comes with a plasma screen to which you can connect a laptop using a HDMI or sometimes a VGA cable to practice presentations. There is also the larger bookable meeting room, room 0 0.12, on the ground floor that we will pass in a moment, and that offers a projector instead of a plasma screen, and is ideal for larger groups to meet. 
Control measures to prevent the transmission of COVID-19 means that we have to limit the number of people allowed in any group study room, so please check that the room you are booking will be large enough for you to use. Go through the green automatic double doors at the end of the atrium. Through the doors and to your left, you will find the rectangular white IT help desk. The IT helpers here, who may be identified by the grey tops they wear, are here to help with any computing challenges you might encounter, including connecting to the Wi-Fi network and installing software, such as the free copy of Microsoft Office made available to every student. Lining the far walls in front of you are lockers from which you may use your university card to borrow laptops with chargers. Scan your university card against one of the black fobs to release the laptop and its charger. You may then use this laptop anywhere in the building for up to 12 hours. When you no longer need the laptop, return it by scanning the same fob and plugging in the laptop inside the locker to recharge it. On the upper floors, you will find screens with keyboards and mice set up ready for you to plug in your device, so you can enjoy the large screen and peripherals of a desktop setup powered by your own device. Elsewhere, you can connect your device or a laptop borrowed from one of the lockers wirelessly using our fast and secure Wi-Fi network or log into one of the networked desktop computers. Let's take a look at the book stock next. All the books and any other materials stored in the library that are not made available electronically over the internet are arranged in order of increasing subject shelf mark number. They start with the most general books at shelf mark 001 by the windows on the far side of the ground floor and then the book sequence zigzags snaking its way back and forth across the ground floor towards the far corner nearest meeting room 0.12. The sequence continues on the first floor and finishes on the second floor. Floor plans on the ends of many of the shelving units will help you to find books with a particular shelf mark and you can click on the pale yellow locate on shelf button in the library catalogue for any item that is in stock and the catalogue will display a floor plan with the shelving block highlighted where the book you want can be found. Please ask any member of staff for a demonstration of how this works and if you have difficulty finding anything, our friendly staff are here to help. Beside the concrete central stairwell, you will find all the library printers as well as scanners. Please comply with our copyright licences. Do not scan or photocopy more than 10% or one chapter of any work or more than one article from any one issue of a magazine or newspaper. If in doubt, please ask a member of staff how much you can lawfully copy. We will be happy to advise and, if necessary, recommend a workaround. Head up the concrete stairs to the first floor. As you arrive on the first floor, the shelf mark numbers continue from the ground floor, running from the back of the room to your right and then running clockwise around the large mezzanine area to your left. The map library is in the far corner, where our map librarian offers dedicated mapping and digital cartography tuition and advice. If you need to use the map library, it is best to email in advance to make sure it is open. Walk around the office in front of you, through the automatic double doors and across the walkway. Toilets are available on every floor. On both the first and second floors, accessible unisex toilets are available to your left on this side of the building. On the second floor, there is also a water fountain where you can refill your water bottles. Turn right and head along to the far end. You will pass the first floor bookable group study rooms. Anyone with a room booking pin number can use the room, but someone must enter the pin within the first 15 minutes of the book time to claim the room. If a room is shown as being free, you can scan your university card against the door control panel to unlock it, after which only your card will open the door for the remainder of the hour. There are more bookable rooms directly above these on the second floor. On the landing at the far end, you will find the library display area. Whether you are a student or member of staff, we would love to exhibit your art, hobby, project or other display here. 
We have display boards and a lockable glass cabinet to securely house three-dimensional work, such as artist books as well. The floor above houses the last of the book sequence and the archives of those few journals and magazines we still have in print format. These are useful when you need to find an older article that is not included in our electronic journal subscriptions. The library also manages third space on the upper floors of the Students' Union building next door. Third space is a relaxed social learning space with a variety of group and flexible seating and is great for relaxing and working with friends. Let's head back downstairs to the atrium. In addition to the printed books you are seeing in the library, we offer hundreds of online resources. These include subject specialist databases, over 875,000 e-books and 155,000 e-journals, newspapers and statistical resources. We also have collections of images and video clips licensed for you to use in your academic work. Best of all, the discovery service, a sort of Google for academic purposes, helps you to find books, ebooks, and peer reviewed journal articles from across many of these resources. Discovery is available through the library website and makes it easier to find quality academic information that your lecturers will love to see you use. Our friendly staff are here to help you. Our librarians are experts in finding and referencing information for any purpose or subject and will help you to solve any problems you might have using our resources online. It's easy to contact us in person, via email, or you can chat to us online 24-7. You can find the links on the library website. So that's pretty much it for the audio tour. I hope you found it useful for familiarising yourself with the library building and what's on offer. Please feel free to ask a member of staff if you have any questions. Before you go, don't forget to follow the library on social media. You can find current news, helpful hints and tips, the latest service updates and fun content, including some of the most stunning landscape photography around. Find us on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter and Facebook as at UOP Library. <laughs>